Okay, it's been 250 hours since the last oil change. I got all the hatches out, open. I gotta get all this junk out of the sides. I got oil. I got filters. I'm gonna change two fuel filters, oil filter, and the oil. I'm not changing the zincs. I changed them last time and they were still good. So I'm gonna go another. Well, plus we haven't been in salt water, so I don't think they're gonna corrode as much. So, anyways. We'll start working on this. All right, so on the panel, there's a switch. It says oil pump. This is it here. This little switch here. That runs under the engine, sucks the oil, pumps it through this pump into this bucket. So, that removes most of it, but there's still oil in the pan. That's kind of tight here, squeeze here, so. That's the dipstick hole. So I put this tube in the dipstick hole and I pump the rest of it out with this. And that gets all the oil out. And then after that, it's the fuel or the oil filter. Get to that in a minute. So as you pump this, it creates a suction in here, and it basically sucks the oil out. But if you look at the size of that tube, it's super small. So it takes a long time to get all the oil out of this, out of the pan. So the oil filter is super easy to get to. You uh, put a strap on it, turn it. Come on. It's starting. There it goes. Now, you think an oil filter on its side. But the Japanese figured it out. They put a little oil reservoir in here. So as the oil leaks from here, it goes in that little reservoir over there too. So as that fills up, comes out this hose and I've got this tied off up here but you can put that in a bucket and catch the oil that comes out here then you clean up this little pan what I do is I take the suction from this thing which is still going and I put it in there like a vacuum and I suck it out that's how that works When you hear it start to gurgle, it's sucking air. So that's all the oil out. So that hose is in there. Sucking the oil that's dripping out of the filter. It's kind of like being a dentist. Once you get the filter off, there's always a little dripping, so you stick a rag in there, keep pumping the vacuum, clean it up. Okay, I got all the oil out of the sump and oil filter off. I got the little tray cleaned up pretty good, and over here I've got an oil filter. Here's a little tip. Make sure the rubber O-ring comes off your filter right here. And then it's not stuck on the engine. A friend of mine did that, had two of them on there, leaked oil everywhere. Everybody knows that though, right? So I use 20% uh, Lucas 
uh, oil stabilizer, or uh, I don't know, yeah, oil stabilizer. And I use the Mobile, which is a synthetic blend. Um, and that's 20%. So one gallon for four gallons of, or one gallon of five gallons, I guess. The other thing I do is I write the date and the hours when it needs to be changed. So that's 1,083 hours, that's 250 hours added on to what the engine has right now. So I always keep a empty jug on board so when I'm done I can use the uh, other containers to take to the recycling drop it off and then all I gotta do is clean out the bucket next is a fuel filter alright next is the uh, secondary fuel filter you gotta take off this bolt here releases the canister down but I gotta remove this this hose here first in order to get access to it so I take off these two then this I drain the fuel out of there and before I do all that I gotta shut off all the the fuel supply and then after I do this one I'll do the primary filter new rings So I loosen that drain, need a pan, obviously. Once it's all drained out, I stuff a rag under there and then I unscrew the bolt on the bottom to remove the canister. All right, so I got most of it out. It's almost stopped dripping. I'll stick a rag under there to catch anything. Now I gotta get a big wrench. I don't know what that is, 17 millimeter or something. Or bigger and loosen that and unscrew that so as you loosen this long bolt on the bottom the top will start to be exposed there's an o-ring in there too you got to get that out our gasket it's not an o-ring it's a gasket and then try to catch all the, the fuel so that's after 250 hours It's pretty bad. Compared to that. So a little tip, the Yanmar kit comes with a crush washer that goes in the bottom. You gotta put the shaft back in, put the spring in the bottom. And the rubber gasket is still up there. You gotta get that off. Don't forget that, because it comes with a new one right there. All right, why don't you get everything put back together. You gotta pump this, unscrew it. Everything's slippery. Screw this. There we go. And then pump. You've got to turn your fuel line back on. That's going to pump fuel all over the place. So I'm going to put a rag down. But I pump that. So what I do is I pump this until I hear fuel spurting back in the tank. That way I know everything's full 
it fits, it's got to fill all this up. It'll fill all that up and then go back into the tank. When I hear squirting in the tank, that's when I stop pumping and turn it off. Okay, we did the secondary, now we're going to do the primary. This is a... Uh, uh, Surpar, or Sapar, I don't know what it is, but it's German. I know it's not the newfangled round ones, but it's German and the filters are expensive. Get a new uh, gasket. I think this is a 30. Yeah. So you got to turn off the fuel, which I did on the other side. And turn this one off too. That says pickup. Yeah. So those both go to this. So I gotta turn both of those off. I'm gonna crack this and see how much crud and water. Yeah, that's water. All that orange yellow stuff is water. that crud out. Yeah, I'll shut that off. That gets out all the gunk. You can see it floating around in there on the bottom. Water, gunk. There's still quite a bit in here. Now I can take the top off with four wing nuts and replace the filter and the thingamagage. And since I drained out a little bit, I should have a little less. Then I open up the intakes or the pickups. It'll fill all the way up to the top till I get fuel spurting out of there and then I'll shut that off and there should be no air in the lines. That's my plan. Seems to work. Okay, so I got the top back on. Tighten these up um, crosswise, I guess. Okay, I opened up both supplies. I should vent this until fuel comes out. I hear air coming out. That means it's filling up. There's fuel. Shut it off. Sop it up. Double check. Fuel. Sop it up. Check for leaks. I don't see any leaks. I don't see any drips. I think we're good. We'll give it another squirt here and That should be enough. I mix that little bit of fuel with the, the motor oil, send it to the recycler. So, two fuel filters, oil filter. Oil's good, not doing zincs. I'm gonna do zincs next oil change. I should do it.